Hello everyone! This presentation describes the new CTL star model checker of the Great SPN framework, showing how to use it together with the graphical interface to design Petrinet models and to verify CTL star properties on them. I will provide a short description of the interface of Great SPN, showing how to perform the basic operations. I will then show you how to specify and verify model checking properties. Let's have a general look at the tool interface. This is the main window of the GUI of Great SPN. On the left, we have the list of open projects. Each project is organized as a list of patronets and major tables. Nets are drawn graphically in the central panel, where we can interact with the various objects. Set their properties on the left panel, or draw new elements in the network, or modify them. For example, the Mutual Excl model in this project is a patronet that represents a concurrent system with three processes that share a critical section that is controlled by a mutex. Processes are modeled using colors, and we can simulate the model behavior by playing the so-called token game. In this mode, the interface allows us to generate a model execution by clicking on the enabled transitions uh, one after the other in order to generate uh, a, a path trace of, of the model, which is a linear execution. The interface also has quick access to tools to generate the reachability set, both the explicit and the symbolic one for colored patterns. Uh, these commands generate uh, um, uh, a visualization of the marking graph of the active model together with a few statistics. And in the visualization we have the marking sets and the file transition that connects all the markings. The GUI also has quick access to a command to unfold the colors of a color patronet in order to obtain an equivalent PT model, and commands to compose models using place and transition superposition. A major table is used to perform a set of computations with a solver. The Great SPN framework is currently integrated with five different solvers, supporting several options and computational targets. For this demo, we will have a look at the RGMED model checker. To work with this tool, we have to specify a PT model, which can also be the unfolding of a colored model, and a set of properties to be verified. The grammar of properties accepted by the model checker is the following. At the top level, there are state and path formulas, where logical, Temporal and model operations can be alternated freely. Atomic propositions can be expressed either in terms of expression on place markings, or on transition enabling conditions, or on the special deadlock symbol. Properties are computed one by one or all together with the compute commands. The computation log that is produced shows all the steps done by uh, the, the pipeline to actually compute the measures in order also to inspect the behavior of the solvers. Let's see an example of a CTL star query where, where this language is actually relevant. In fact, most properties of concurrent systems can be expressed in linear time logic. Sometimes, however, there is the need to evaluate the non-determinism of a program in order to assess a specific property. Consider again the mutual exclusion model. After a process P receives an interrupt, it tries to enter the critical section to perform some operation. Two different scenarios are possible. A process could receive an interrupt at some point in time, or it may also happen that a specific process never gets an interrupt and waits forever outside the critical section. 
we may want to provide a specification for this behavior that explicitly asserts the existence of these two behaviors. A similar property cannot be fully expressed in LTL, and let's see why. The obvious, the obvious choice is to specify the alternating behavior by saying that either the model globally stays outside the critical section, or at some point in time will have the opportunity to enter inside the critical section. And this property is in principle correct, and in fact, if we verify this property on the model, it is true. We can again run the computation and verify the value. However, it is verified also for the generate models where the process P cannot actually enter the critical section because in linear time logic, we cannot express constraints on different independent executions. Let's take for, again, the, the, the mutual exclusion um, model, but now we forbid a specific process P1 to receive an interrupt. To enforce the dual behavior, we have to specify that at any moment in time, the process may receive an interrupt, even if it does not happen in a given realization. In this way, the generated cases can be excluded by combining linear constraints with branching logic. So this leads to the CTL star query, uh, in which we assert the alternate behavior on every single uh, execution, while at the same time we require the two possible behaviors to exist. And in fact, if we again verify the two different properties on the degenerate model, we may observe that the property, the LTL property, is true even if one of these behaviors never happens. Conversely, the CTL star specification does not hold because the process cannot enter the critical section any longer. This ends the tool demonstration. GreatSPN is available both as a source code distribution on GitHub or in a virtual machine with all the dependencies pre-installed and compiled. Thank you.